Now, when we talk about coffee and agriculture in general, we see that child labor is hugely concentrated within this sector. And this hasn't just happened now, we have known it for decades. But why can't we clean this industry? Why can't we clean this sector up of this tarnish, up of this uh, illegal practice? Yes, I mean, it's uh, quite, un quite unfortunate, uh, like you said, this has been going on for years, for decades. And yet, uh, it would appear, of course, in the past few years, a lot of people have been talking about it. There have been uh, discussions, not just at national level, but at the international level. Uh, the United Nations uh, have made it a, you know, a topic, especially at the level of the International Level Organization, ILO, uh, who have also come up with some recommendations. And in fact, in some you know, international conventions also have uh, outlawed their child level in many countries of the world. And what is even ironical is that uh, most uh, countries of the world are also signatories to some of these international instruments at lawing, you know, mm -hmm. or banning, uh, you know, uh, child labor. But somehow it would appear that uh, it's all about uh, lip service. Yes, there's a movement towards, uh, you know, uh, abolishing child labor, but I think it is more in theory than in practice uh, because it has continued to grow un unabatedly. And uh, of course, in the area of uh, agriculture, uh, little children are, are playing a very key roles, you know, in the at the level of agriculture. Most unfortunately, children who should be, uh, you know, in in the schools, uh, in learning to become better citizens uh, for, of the of their societies, are are, are being pushed into this uh, situation. Of course, people talk about uh, the issue of poverty as uh, playing a major role uh, in that, but the reality is that um, uh, the right kind of legislations have not been put in place. Uh, most of the countries where these things are happening especially in the south uh, you know in the uh, uh, developing countries of the world is essentially where uh, some of these uh, terrible practices are taking place it would appear that the political elites and the political leadership in those particular places prefer to pay lip service to that because right. again of uh, the overwhelming influence of uh, the uh, you know certain uh, international multi you know uh, uh, international corporations uh, who have had very firm footholds in right. their country so this to a very large extent has uh, proved very difficult to uh, tackle.